In this video, I'm going to integrate Cisco Unity Connection 12.5 with Call Manager 12.5 using SIP instead of SCCP. And man, is it a lot easier than SCCP. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm already logged into Call Manager, and the first thing I'm going to do is set up my SIP security profile. So under System, we'll go to Security, and then SIP Trunk Security Profile. And I'm going to choose, let's see, so there's a non-secure SIP trunk profile, which is just a standard one. I'm just going to copy that one, and I'm going to rename it uh, Unity, and I'm going to keep that all the same. And then I'm just going to uh, check these boxes, accept out of <coughs> dialog refer, accept unsolicited notification, and accept replaces header. And I'm going to just go ahead and click save. And then I need to create a SIP profile. So I'm going to go over to device, device settings, and device, and a SIP trunk. Or no, sorry, SIP profile. And once again, there's the standard one, which I'm going to copy. And I'm just going to name it Unity SIP Profile. And then I am going to make one change. Uh, I'll change the description as well. Might as well. All the way down at the bottom, I'm going to enable um, options ping. So SIP options ping. Um, so this will show whether it's in service or not. And everything else can stay the same. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then from there, I'm going to create the SIP trunk. So under device, trunk, Add new trunk type will be SIP trunk, and we can leave that all the same. And next, and I will name this Unity SIP trunk. Oh, that's an invalid name. Let me just, I'm just going to rename it Unity. That, that's even, you know, more concise and uh, more accurate. Uh, let's see, I need to give it a device pool and a location I'm just going to leave as hub none. Um, and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to um, inbound calls. I'm going to give it a calling search space. <coughs> it needs internal only. Obviously, your calling search spaces are certainly going to be different than mine. So internal only should work just fine. It only needs, it doesn't need to get outbound. Um, and then I'm going to check the redirecting diversion header. And then if I go down all the way to the destination, in the last video I made my Cisco Unity Connection server. I built it, and the IP address is 10.0.0.13, and that will be <coughs> destination port 5060. That can stay the same. And then down underneath that, we're going to choose the SIP trunk security profile that we made earlier. Unity, um, the rerouting calling search space, I'm going to do internal only as well. Out of dialog, same, internal only. And for the SIP profile, I'm just going to choose the one that we made, Unity SIP profile. And that is going to do it. And I'm going to click OK. And from there, I'm going to go to call routing and route hunt and route pattern. And I'm going to add a new one. And I'm using 5555. So this is what um, people will call if they want to dial their voicemail directly. It's also going to be the voicemail pilot. And I'm going to put this in the internal partition that everybody can reach. And I'll call it RP to Unity Connection. And then I need to set the gateway route list. So anybody who calls this number is going to get dumped to the SIP trunk that we just created which is called Unity. Now I'll click Save, and that's going to do it for that route pattern. Next step is to make um, the Hunt Pilot. So we'll go to Advanced Features, Voicemail, and we're going to go to Voicemail Pilot. And I'm going to add a new one, and it's going to be 5555, like the uh, route pattern we just created. And I'm going to make it internal only again for the calling search space. And I'm going to click save. Next, we need to create the voicemail profile, which is again under advanced features, voicemail, and voicemail profile. 
and I'm going to add a new one, and I'll call it Unity. And I don't think it even needs, I'd probably put a description if this was production, but we'll use the only voicemail pilot we have, which is 5555. And that's it for this, so I'm going to go ahead and click save, and from there we move on to Unity Connection. And we are going to go down to Telephony Integrations Phone System, and we are going to add a new one, and I'm just going to call it CUCM. And go ahead and click save, and I'm going to make it Default Trap Phone System, and click save again. Then I'm going to choose Port Group, and do Add New. And I'm choosing CUCM for the phone system just created. And we're going to change this from SCCP to SIP. And display name CUCM-1 is fine. And we want to change the host name to 10.0.0.10, .10, which is the call manager IP address. And click save. And then if you have uh, subscribers, you can go into edit servers and you can see there's the one that we just created um, i'll change this to one and then i hit add and i'll change it to two and i actually do have one i don't think it's not powered on right now but uh, a subscriber call manager and i'm going to click save and i'm going to go back to port group select the one we created and up here on the top right there is this uh, add ports under related links I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm gonna choose 10 ports and I'm just gonna click save and there we go and that should be it we should now have connections so oh, I just turned my phone off But no worries, I have Jabber, so I'll dial 5555 and... Hello, Cisco Unity Connection Messaging System. We may have... touch tone telephone, you may dial an extension. So that's it. Um, that was real easy. Um, we got a, a SIP trunk up and voicemail is basically set up. I can start creating uh, profiles in Unity and over um, in Call Manager again. Um, remember when I enabled the ping settings? So this is what I was talking about here. So we can see time in full service, three minutes. Um, so in the next videos, I will start making some profiles and probably add uh, Active Directory connection. But that is it for this one. If you found this helpful, please like, please subscribe, and uh, just add to the comments if you have any questions or uh, if there's anything else that you would uh, like to learn about. Thank you and have a great day.